Hi, and welcome to this week's episode of Mindscape TV. My name is Jeff Bell, I'm Director of Digital Marketing Services here at Mindscape. And with me, I have Erin Jones. She is a business development partner with us. And today we're gonna to talk about um, the now infamous uh, post that, uh, what's his name, Mike Jeffries, the CEO of Abercrombie and Fish talked about it. And kind of how, in the digital world, what you say can really impact you. So, Aaron, can you kind of bring us through, I know probably everybody knows about the whole story, but if you kind of bring us through that story. Sure, absolutely. Um, Mike Jeffries is the CEO of Abercrombie & Fitch, and he's kind of notorious for putting his foot in his mouth, kind of saying the wrong thing. Well, he had made comments to uh, uh, Salon Magazine back in 2006. For whatever reason, his comments from 2006 were recently resurrected and um, started going viral. And it was very negative about the company because his comments basically were that the only people he wants wearing Abercrombie and Fitch clothing are the cool kids in high school. So it would be, you know, the thin, beautiful, you know, model looking um, types of people. And he, he was very unapologetic about the fact that he only really saw hit their brand fitting with that specific demographic. Sure. So obviously this being, you know, the United States of America in this day and age, that really unleashed a, a flurry of anti Abercrombie and Fitch sentiment. So there were blogs being posted right and left multiple times a day, all about people saying that they, you know, would never wear Abercrombie and Fitch clothing again. Kirstie Alley weighed in on it. There were a number of blogs and other celebrities um, that that just were very negative about the brand um, and right now at this point I've kind of been watching and the, the stock price has not taken an unrecoverable nosedive but the ultimate fallout kind of remains to be seen. The point of it is, the point of um, the blog that I wrote about this was that Conversations can spiral out of control. I mean, even something said back in 2006 is now taking on a new life in 2013. So what you say can be very misconstrued in some cases, and it can also, if it hits the right note with the American public, people are not shy about just posting exactly what they think about your content. Right, we're not just posting to uh, an intimate circle of family and friends now when we hear about these things. In fact, the way that we now share those things with family and friends and and our Facebook friends, which are usually people we haven't talked to in 20 years, right. um, are, you know, through social media and those type of things, which, you know, that, that can quickly grow if it does, like you say, hit the right note with that. Right, exactly. And so, you know, that can also go, so there's reputation management going back to a previous post that Aaron wrote about, um, and that I believe we have a Mindscape TV episode about. Um, uh, kind of goes back to the reputation management piece about, you know, Abercrombie and Fish completely lost control of that, completely caught them off guard. Uh, Mike Jeffries kind of stood by his comments, reiterating them, which just fanned the fire. Exactly. Um, but now you can also have, on the good side, since we're talking about models and sizes, um, you had another example. Yeah, H&M um, um, is a pretty well-known brand. Um, and they actually decided to use um, a normal size, I won't even say plus size, officially she's probably considered plus size, but you know. In the model world. In the model <laughs> yeah. world, but in the normal American world, um, she's considered normal size. Well, they decided to feature uh, this model, who's beautiful, in their campaign for their um, current season swimwear. And that decision took on a life of its own. It wasn't, you know, anything that they, the company put out there. They just made a statement by using someone that looked, you know, normal. Right, so they made a navigable statement just by right. using her imagery. Yeah. Right, but then, you know, in the blogosphere, everyone started writing really positive comments about H&M and their decision to show people that were more realistic than, you know, the impossible standards of a swimsuit model and, and most um, swimwear catalog, so they kind of experience the, the positive that can right. come from that viral conversation, making a statement. They they have a lot of really positive uh, feedback about their brand, and it actually helped them. 
whereas Abercrombie and Fitch's situation hurt their brand. Right. Um, their statement here with this campaign helped their brand. Mm -hmm. um, but just in case anyone out there is thinking, well, this stuff only happens with huge major national companies, I have an example that I'll share that um, has been making the rounds in, in social media locally here in West Michigan, and that is of a salon located in Kalamazoo. Um, a friend of mine, I first noticed this, this post shared in my Facebook news feed about a week ago, and it was a story of a woman who went to a salon in Kalamazoo and had a very negative customer service experience. Well, she actually posted it to her Facebook uh, feed, her Facebook uh, page, and then, she, and then a number of her friends were sharing it all over Facebook. Now I've actually seen this specific story posted in a number of unrelated friends' news feeds all around Facebook. Um, and I also noticed that the local news is now picking up uh, the story of how this person's negative social, negative customer service experience is now being shared virally on social media. Oh, wow. So it doesn't just happen with the Abercrombie and Fitches and the H&Ms of the world. This salon in Kalamazoo, I can almost guarantee, will have a detrimental effect on their business and their sales and their reputation mm -hmm. overall. Mm -hmm. And their brand based on what one person decided to write about them on social media. And again, takes on a life of its own. Sure. And then kind of the lesson here, did the salon respond to that or not? Had they had any idea that that was... They should be. I don't know if they are. I haven't noticed. I went on their Facebook page and it didn't even look like they had actually claimed their business location oh, on Facebook. Wow. So there were no comments about that. Um, my opinion from the salon owner's perspective is, you know, there needs to be immediate and decisive right, communication made to address this. Yeah, absolutely. Before, you know, the business is tarnished to an irretrievable standard. Right, so, yeah. Um, yeah. I would say that, you know, action is definitely yeah, absolutely. recommended at this point on her behalf, but... Um, well, and that gets to um, yet another MySafe TV episode and, and a blog post, I think, that we had. I know we've got an ebook out there, too, but kind of going through and claiming mm -hmm. all of those local business listings. So um, Facebook, Google+, Plus, all those places, Yelp, big one, um, where people are having those conversations about you, it's important that you claim those and monitor those so that you can address issues like these that you may or may not know are even happening in this digital space. Uh, and then you can reply to them. You've got a great opportunity in there, just like a customer service rep on a phone, now that's now moved into the, the digital space now, and that's an opportunity for you to, you know, make a happy customer at that point. Correct the record if you need to, admit your faults if you need to, um, but it really is important for reputation management uh, that you monitor those conversations that you're saying, or that are happening online that you don't have control of, over, uh, but it's really important that you understand how impactful um, those online conversations can be to your business and you may or may not know that they're happening. Uh, anything to add here? No, I couldn't right. put it any better. Great. Well, thanks for joining us this week and we'll see you next week. We hope you found this episode valuable, relevant, and interesting. That you'll like, comment, and share our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Mindscape HMTV. Please join us on Facebook and Twitter at Mindscape HM or read our blog posts and join us online at mindscape-hm.com. Thanks again for tuning in. We'll see you next week.